Hey you guys and welcome to Book Haul Monday where there's a book haul every Monday while supplies last. So next week is going to be an unhaul video. I actually thought it was going to be this week. But then I realized that something happened, right? And I canceled some of my pre-orders this month and basically what it did was it equaled amount to a book outlet order. So I did that instead so I don't have to wait for some of those books to come in now. I just have to wait for the book outlet order. When that gets here, I'll do an unboxing of it. So... Um, let's get started. Um, the first one that I have to show you is Chain Fire by Terry Goodkind. And this is another book in the Legend of the Seeker series, which I have yet to start, but I did see the first season of the show adaptation and loved it. I'm waiting to watch the second season until I read the first book, at least. That is what I made myself promise like a year or two ago, and I still haven't done it. But, uh, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I had a copy of this one before. The thing is, I didn't, it was like a little bit too used for me, so I decided to go on Bookmooch, uh, which I'll link down below. It's just a site where if you get, uh, give away books, you get points, and then you can mooch books with those points. So, decided to get this copy. It's really better than the last one, so yay. Um, and then the next book that I have to show you is a book that I won, and it is The Magician's Land. This is the third book in the Magicians trilogy and no not only have not I read not have I not read the other two I don't even own them but so this is gonna be a good excuse to get them because I happen to want to read them and I won this from Goodreads uh so I'm really looking forward to it this is like the only second book that I won and of course I win the one that's in a series that makes me buy more books huh <laughs> the first one I won I gave to my friend because she made me enter it for her so that was a thing <laughs> Um, then we have A Shiver of Light by Laurel K. Hamilton. Um, this is the ninth book maybe in the Merited Gentry series. This was a pre-order from like at least maybe the month or the month before and my friend she got like this much into it but she hasn't been reading this. She hasn't been in the mood so I'm, I'm gonna read it and give it back to her but I think I may read the first other ones first just so I can be like in it. So it, it may be a while before I give it back to her. Um, so she may take it back before then. So then the next book that I have to show you guys uh, is More Than This by Patrick Ness. And yeah, I read this last month. It was really, really good. Um, I needed a hardcover copy though. So I'm really excited. It does this. Ah, I finally got it. I, keep, I kept meaning to get this and I never did. And I'm really excited. So maybe when I see him again, I'll get this copy signed because I do have another copy. Um, I have met multiple copies of his books. It's starting to get a little sad, but I really, really enjoyed it. It's about a boy who drowned and then he wakes up and he's like in his old childhood neighborhood house. So that's weird because he doesn't even live there anymore. So I'm really, 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 really excited to read this. I mean, the, just the first page, I'm thinking about doing a fragmented video on it, which is sometimes where I just read like a first chapter or something. Usually you can read like just a fragment from anywhere, but I usually do first chapter. So if I do it, then I will link it down below or it'll be here I'll show you guys it'll be here in the notification area if you have your notifications on that I did it and the next book that I got okay I had a five dollar off coupon on eBay so I really I really had to do it okay people I just really had to so I basically got these books for like five dollars each because it was twenty five dollars free shipping and handling I got five dollars off so I decided to go ahead and get it and it is the water song <laughs> series by Amanda Hawkins you guys so of course the first book is Wake by Amanda Hawkins just so nice to finally just have it in my hand and this is what it looks like of course when you take off the cover I remember when everyone was first getting this and I was just like I need that but then I was like oh wait I have a copy of this on my Kindle though but I was really like I really want the physical book and then we have Lullaby and this copy is signed i believe by amanda hawkins i remember seeing this all in walmart and i almost bought it but i didn't so good thing i waited and then we have title and then of course we have elegy which had to be the biggest one out of all of them and i keep seeing them on book outlet too they never had all four of them together so i was just waiting um but I'm so glad that i found it and then on to the two pre-orders that i did keep for this month um the first one is the girl from the well by rin tropical um this one just sounds like amazing i really like this cover and 
this is what it looks like when you take off the cover and this is what it looks like when you open it up so anyway this is i'm just going to read like the back to you because it has like a little snippet that sounds good for a moment we stare at each other he another girl's murder and i another man's victim then my mouth widens further and i detach myself from the ceiling to lunge my unblinking eyes boring into his panic screaming face so this follows this girl okio who is a lonely soul i am where dead children go that's a quote from here uh but anyway she was murdered and now she like kills murderers and stuff like that but then she meets this one boy um i think it's a boy tark um, and he is being possessed by a demon so she knows that he's not evil but the demon inside of him is evil and is killing people I believe that's how it goes so she doesn't know what to do in that situation so this sounds good and then last but definitely not least and I'm so glad I didn't cancel this one because I was sort of close but then I was like nah I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it now and it, it was so much bigger like I got this package in and I was like did they send me the wrong thing or did they send me something extra I don't know why is this book so long why is it so heavy and it is Percy Jackson's Greek Gods illustrated by John Rocco and written by Greg Ryan look at it look at it it is so huge even my biggest hard cover right now is not compared to the hugeness of this book like seriously you guys I opened it and I just like fangirled so hard it was just like oh my god beautifulness I was like it's probably a good thing no one hopefully can hear me right now but um it's basically just uh Percy Jackson like the myths told in Percy Jackson's voice so Percy Jackson gives his uh, um his views on the Greeks so basically you open it and it looks like this it's beautiful it's smooth and of course the spine is adorbs adorbs and then you open it and you're just like right away like with Greek mythology I think is this the Hydra with the with the whole thing the three heads getting cut off and then more coming on and then of course you have some more beautiful paintings and then let me just turn to like a random page because I haven't read it yet but like you'll just see like there's some beautiful beautiful illustrations in this thing right here Hold on, here goes another one it's just so heavy I feel like when I read this I'm definitely gonna have to read this when I'm on my bed lying down okay this is the picture at the end of the book I'm gonna guess this is the Persephone in Hades telling where she must be like picking flowers and then she gets sucked in down into the um, underworld because I know my mess like that people and if I don't know how to pronounce the name so I'm really excited for this I'm probably gonna wait until <clears throat> mythology month for the hashtag a year -thon next year it's gonna be so hard but I have a lot of books in the meantime to keep me company. So you guys, let me know down below what you guys uh, bought this month or what you guys are excited for that has come out or will be coming out. And did you guys get Percy Jackson Greek Gods or any of these books? Have you read any of these books? And what would you recommend that I read? And I'm going to talk to you guys later because I'm going to go figure out how to like put this on a shelf all the other books luckily luckily it's over on its own shelf so I think there's enough room to put that in if I like just do it like that right yeah I'm gonna go have fun now bye